What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well in these times. Today we're going to be looking at HBAR on the monthly time frame and scale down from there. Now, over here we can see that we're still above the 20 monthly EMA. If we can stay above this, this is very positive. You have come to the 786, so what would have to happen next is for us to start heading back up above these EMAs. Minimal getting above that 618 and confirming it as support. That's roughly 24 cents now. So you do that, we need to obviously be wary because if you do reject this 618, chances are you probably are going to lose the 786 and that would be the 20 monthly EMA loss. But at the moment, that's basically set. That's hopium at the moment. But we'll go to the smaller time frames now and see if that is just what I'm potentially saying. Let's go to the weekly. Now, on the weekly time frame, we can see looking at HBAR's history. Please let me know in the comments down below if this is the right HBAR chart. This is the one I've been using for a while now, but I don't know if it's the one with the most data. Let me know in the comments down below, please. But technically, you shouldn't lose the 55 on the weekly time frame. If we look at Bitcoin's previous bull markets, whenever you lost the 20, you head to the 55. And if you lose that 55 weekly, that is your bear market signal now. We actually just printed a bearish engulfing on the weekly time frame. You might be thinking, Louis, you have done the fibs wrong. They're not on the exact points. Well, if we go to the four hour time frame, let's just go to that quickly. You can see that we got in the exact point there and there. I just have no idea why the weekly shows it differently, but it's common on altcoins. Don't know why. But um, anyway, you can see here we were holding the 050 and then you closed below it and went to the 618. What you need to see now is from this level, we need to see continuation. Now we need to continue upwards, break these highs and go on to our next technical targets. However, once you bounce from the 618 slash the 55 weekly EMA, you run into the 20, basically confirming the 382 and the 20 as resistance. And that's why you then went below the 050 and the 618 and actually last week you closed a bearish engulfing on the weekly time frame. This candle right here would have been confusing a lot of people and the reason because is basically you're at the 55 weekly ma the double brick wall you should hold this for continuation correct and this actually was a doji basically it means that there's indecision in the market but when you see this at a key level of support or resistance it means that a reversal is going to happen now the thing with this one is that it was at support and resistance at the exact same time you were running into the 050 and you were at the 55 as support and resistance so a decision needs to be made and a decision was made because of all the uncertainty around the world right now with russia and ukraine whatever is going on over there so now that's why we've had this bearish engulfing a decision was made we didn't want this technically you haven't closed below this so you might be a a-okay, but again, guys, we need to get above that 55 weekly EMA for me to flip back bullish. That's about 25.4 cents, and I'm going to go through a bit more detail when we get to the four-hour time frame of why this is such a key level to break back above. But again, it's only for the first step, even if we get above it, you then need to confirm it as support. So looking at what's going on now, we are rejecting that 786 with this new week. We've got five days and eight hours left. So technically you want to get above the 618 and confirm it as support. If you come up now and fail to get above the 618, chances are you're going to fall through the 786 and put a lower low. And technically you should go to the one creating that reversal wave. Now that would obviously be filling in this wick. I'm not saying it's going down there because of that. I'm just saying, yeah, if you do go down there, you're basically filling in that wick. But that's not the main reason why we're going there. The reason is of the uncertainty in the world, the bearish engulfing, the loss of the 55 weekly EMA, and so, and the 0618 being lost at the moment. If it's used as resistance, you create that reversal wave. So multiple reasons why potentially we are going to come down to in and around 13, uh, 13.8 cents for H bar. Now, if we take a look at the, let's go to the daily time frame right now, you can see we've had, of course, bearish crosses ever since up here, never had a bullish cross. We were getting excited up here around 34 cent because we were so close to our technical target. And then you rolled over back down here. I think this was actually in the golden pocket for continuation to our 36 cent target up here. But then you lost that double pocket. You're forming some sort of double bottom here. But I'm going to explain quickly, guys. Note this down if you can. With a double bottom in a downtrend, 
in a downtrend, they don't tend to work. And you can see that when we run into this neckline over here and you've got completely rejected, this is a very bearish statement. So I hope you understand that it's a very bearish statement because you were all the way up here above every single EMA and before the candlestick closed, you were down here. So that's very negative. We are going to see bearish continuation and you've got that lower low now. So yes, oh, oh that's actually that's actually quite good at the same time you have actually closed higher than that wick so you made lower lows with the wick of course but with the body you actually closed above that wick so that's actually good signs to see now if we look at the volume on the daily time frame almost all the charts got some volume but if we're comparing it to previous bottoms like this one like this short term one it's not even bigger than it's the volume now in this candle even though everyone's bullish is not as much as the the previous let, let me just move this and i'll explain so first of all a lot of people are going to say that this is a bullish hammer right now it could could be that but i think that it's only going to work in the short term even if it is because obviously now under key support which should be tested as a resistance we haven't done that yet but we're going to see if that's going to happen get above the 618 we're good but until then this is the potential scenario and again i remember i said i'm going to explain that in a bit more detail uh, as we go into the smaller time frame so yeah this wick rejection absolutely nasty signaling bearish continuation you should go lower than this low and this wick you did go lower than the wick with the wick but not with the body so technically we could get the relief rally now that would make sense with this small volume coming in but it's not enough volume if you compare it to this look at the massive spike of volume compared to what's happening out and that wasn't even your bottom that was a temporary bottom now we're heading lower so that's why for me, I need to see some more volume stepping in. Of course, I might be wrong if Bitcoin reclaims 42K. Make sure to check out Bitcoin's update today. But if Bitcoin reclaims 42K and holds its support, then we invalidate this bearish, uh, weekly bearish uh, bearish market. But And obviously, we're still in a monthly bullish market, don't forget. But at the moment, we're in a weekly bearish market. We're in a week, uh, daily bearish market. So it makes sense, guys, that we do get bearish continuation. And why is that? Because the trend is your friend until the end <laughs> we all know this now so it, i wanted to see if it was on the four hour which i wanted to show you this no it's on the daily so yeah so i'm going to go to the daily time frame now and i'm going to get the fibs out so i'm going to measure from this swing low to the swing high up here i just want to see if i was doing the yeah i'm doing the correct one yeah perfect perfect so swing low to the swing high let's get that exact and you can see what we needed to do was hold this 618. We were doing that very nicely. And that's why we got this bounce. And with this bounce, what you needed to do, let's get rid of this volume now. We don't need it. What we needed to do with this bounce off the 618 right there, because first your candle opened here and went up first and then came down. So you came into the 618, came up, rejected the 200 EMA. This is basically telling us that we should continue and lose this low. But you didn't do that as of then. You then came up to try and validate this double bottom but when you reach the neckline you got rejected and now it's lining up with the 20 uh 200 sorry ema and the 55 and you got rejected and you went below the continuation moving average so technically we should now continue our downtrend and create that reversal wave to the one minimal now you're holding the one and this is why i think that a relief rally is coming because you're holding the one yes you went lower to meet the 0786 on the higher fibs but you're now holding that exact one fib level so as long as we stay above this, we could potentially get some upward movement, but we might run into this 786, which is also that larger 618. And this is what we need to look into a bit deeper, because if so, then we're still going to get rejected, basically. For me to go back bullish, I need to see 25 cent reclaim. And that's what we said earlier on in the video. Now, if we take a look at the four hour to see what's going on, I just want to check if I've done all the fibs correct for you guys. So I'm going to measure. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. Incorrect. See the daily time frame. That's so annoying why it does that. There we go. So there you go. So you actually, let me go to the daily again. Yeah, so you actually close a bit below the one actually. And now you're trying to get back above it. Sorry about that. I don't know why the, the higher time frames always do that. So yeah, we need to get above this, this uh, 618, 24 and 25 cent. Until you do that, 
then there's a high chance we're going to get rejected and of course look where your next targets are once you lose this one point at 20.8 cents we are at 21 cent that's amazing if you can confirm the one is support we will minimal go to the 786 but get rejected there we're going to roll over lose the one and head to the 1618 technical target sitting at 15 cent and that's also lining up with our larger one so these are the reasons why today i believe that hbar can can go lower to in and around 14 to 15 cents per token that's pretty much it for today i think we can zoom in in the short term see what's going on you got this little double bottom beforehand it was getting rejected so can you see here we had a lower high and then obviously you came up to it had a bounce above close back below so we can't really make a decision on this candle yet you might even just be coming to retest this and continue down so what we can do is actually measure from this swing high to this swing low to see where are we retracing to and you can see the 618 is actually lining up exactly with that 20 EMA and as long as you're below this you should be getting bearish continuation what's interesting and what's very nice right now about these fib levels is that the 20 is at the 618 and we know that what should actually happen with this 618 is that you're correcting to it for continuation downwards that is what we should see and the 20 ema should step in there to continue downwards so two reasons that if we come up into this level right now about 21.38 cent and get rejected it basically means that we should technically go lower than our low at the moment now if we can actually get above the 618 and the 20 and confirm it as support then you have a minimal target target at the one and you can see actually that the 55 EMA will probably step in at the one at that moment in time so I'm going to actually put this resistance points right uh, right here right now so even if you do come up to the one there's that chance that you get rejected because this is a previous high and it's previous support and when you lost the support you confirmed it as resistance for continuation downwards so even if we get to this level and get above the 20 and confirm as support this is what's going to hold us up basically from going up further and you can see that's the 23 cent mark at the 786 basically uh the the slightly larger 786 but also the 618 as well just a bit higher about 24 cents so the interesting thing is guys if you actually get above this 55 ema at the one at 23.3 cent then technically you would actually have a target at the 1618 at 26.79 cent and what's interesting is that the 200 ema is sitting there now if you were to get there we might have to change a uh, stance on the bearish scenario because you're obviously getting above the EMAs. Yes, you're still below the 200, but you could be falling back to this support for continuation. But until then, there's that risk that we just come up to the either the 20 now and get rejected or the 55. You're only going to come up to the 55 if you can break above the 618. But really what should happen is that we should now come up to the 618 get rejected and roll over i will give you a technical target out of this double bottom at the moment or this ascending triangle you want to call it so that would actually bring us above the 618 the technical target so it's actually at the 786 it would still be running into this high so yes you'd be above the 20 but after that you need to fall back to it as support hold the 618 support basically opening up the chances of even getting up here to the 1618 but my minimal target would be the one confirm that as support then we would go there until then there's all also the risk of heading lower thank you guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it today please like subscribe comment and if you're interested in any of the packages i offer like the one-on-one -on -one mentorship i had a brand new student today which is amazing uh, amazing to see motivated people like-minded people like me interested in knuckling down and trying to 10x their learning curve in these times where it's optimal optimal opportunity to get learning in this market and uh, if you wanted to do the course as well that's completely fine or the group chat that's 25 pounds a month for your first month and 40 pounds onwards if you're interested in that like i heard from a lot of people yesterday just need to message me or just at me on my twitter louis underscore crypto and i'll private message you to the people that have already messaged me get back to me as soon as possible because the video in the crypto chat is time sensitive thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace